Corey. Your camera's so small. What are you doing in my What are you doing in my house, man? Take a shower. Hey, and hey, could you? <laughs> Joel. Yeah. Jimmy. What are you? What are you guys doing? I just woke up. Road and these tripping. What? Oh my gosh, guys. Man, we road tripping, and uh, you know we we know how to get into people's houses, so we just came in. Yeah. Okay. So Who's that guy and the other guy? They let they uh, helped us. I've come my, to take back the stuff you stole from aquarium co-op. Oh no, <laughs> man! I, hey, I hate to break it to you, but it's been used. <laughs> so, so you could. So for those that don't know, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. A, uh, B, if you don't know Aquarium Co-op, and if you don't know Corvus Oshkin Show on YouTube, you should probably go subscribe to them. I'll have links down in the description. Don't about the real fish talk. Yeah, oh yeah, real fish talk? Yeah. Oh yeah, have I, there, have right? I been on that yet? I don't think, ah, oh, man. You're coming on. I'll smuggle you back with us. I got some free time. Jimmy, what are you, what are you shouting out? Get out of here! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so these guys are gonna be filming some of my tanks, uh, kind of like in all my tanks video, which I haven't done on my channel. So if you wanna check that out, if you wanna see all my tanks in one video, uh, and they're, most of them are looking pretty good, make sure you check out their channel, subscribe to them, and look for their most recent oh, videos. Real good. Yeah, Jimmy's, Jimmy's good at that. Links down below. Links below. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna try and feed at least a hundred snails to the five puffer fish in this tank. Let's see it. What do you What do you think? I got them right here. I think it like, looks like seventy nine plus. I mean, there's. A, <laughs> I think there's at least eighty in here. There's at least eighty. Come on. Snails. What you kind of snails are they? Right. I don't. There's just all kinds of snails. Pond pest snails. That's a ram's horn. Yeah. So I mean, you know. Got two varieties. Fair game. I say we all take a little bit out. You know, get our hand. We, everybody's getting their hands dirty over here. We got this algae in here. They've been, I've been saving these up for weeks. By the way, weeks. Ooh, we're here for such weeks a worth of snails. Historic event. Weeks worth of snails, boys. Two weeks. All right. Well, I feel like it's going to be anticlimactic if we waste any more time here. So we're going to waste more time. Jimmy, why did you br why did you bring these ducks? I took one. It's in my pocket. Why did you? <laughs> Wait, you took a duck? Yeah. Come on, bro. All right, they squeak, dude. I don't, I'm sorry. Squeak? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't make them. All right. Um, yeah. You need There's, more than one hand for this. You think? I just I need somebody to do I'm this gonna, for me. Do it. Are you gonna do it? I've fed a puffer once before. So you I'm have. Just, I'm gonna let this algae go in there. Hey, like that. Yeah. We'll roll the dice. But you gotta get all these extra snails. Oh yeah, you gotta get those off. They're they're probably already on these. There they are. Oh, they're freaking out. Ooh. <laughs> he's gonna get that big one. Oh, he's gonna get that big one. Done it. Done it. <laughs> raining snails. It's raining snails. It's raining. It's raining algae. Yep. I mean, that was pretty epic. It's still happening. They're crunching, it's so loud. It's in my ears. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he's got one. He's got one. They're freaking out. They don't know what's going on. They've been on a bloodworm diet for the he's last going two to weeks. The yeah, he is. There's so many snails in this algae ball. He's got one. Oh, he fell. They're gonna be occupied with that for a while. This is good times. This is like a. It's like a floating snail island. Yeah. Oh, too bad it's going it's to the top, eight. dude. <laughs> Too cool. That algae was a good touch. Let's see what's going down on the bottom. All this, all this snail poop. Like two weeks worth of snail poop just went in there too. Uh, geez. Oh, put some in this tank. <laughs> going down. Yeah, they're fun to watch, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna they're gonna be preoccupied with that for a while. I imagine. Oh, he just got that one on the top. I imagine some of those snails will get away. There's no way they can eat all those. They'll kill them. Why not eat them? They'll kill them. They'll get them. You know how you were talking about, you know, people ask you all the time, like, what can you keep in a puffer, you know, with pea puffers? Mm -hmm. And you say, there's always that one in, like, that one in a million that you can, yeah. you, you talked about in a mono shrimp. 
We had, we had one at the store for like 18 months that made us look bad daily. We were like, yeah, don't put it with shrimp, don't keep it with anything else. What about that one? Yeah, so in this tank, I have a black Neo. Nice. I was doing a water change yesterday before you guys came over, and I kid you, there was a huge black Neo in there. Like yeah. bigger than any that are in that tank. I don't know, I think he came in on some of the, the dwarf water as lettuce. I, as I told everyone at the shop, mine just knew ninja karate, you know, it was like, it was yeah. a ninja. Everyone knew not to mess with it. Yeah, it was weird. He was like out in the open, you know how they get after a water change, sometimes they get really active. And, uh, and he was just hanging out in the open and they weren't even paying any mind to him. I was blown away. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. You can't see him now, of course. Yeah, no, he's gone, man. Oh, this is about to he's be hiding. The shot right here. Oh, in the face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that yeah, that, bite. that guy, Awful. that guy got him. Yeah. He's going back for seconds. I love, I love just how they they circle him, okay, like talking. like raptors, man. Yeah. They're just, <laughs> they're all over him. They're like your dinosaurs. That's fun. We got a long There's so drive. many hot bodies in here, feeding puffers. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. <laughs> what here? What? Jimmy? What did you do? Did you punch this? Jimmy, what did you do? What? The Fortnite game. <laughs> no comment. All right, so Corey, Joel, and Jimmy are gone. That footage was from a few days ago when they stopped by. Really good to see those guys. Uh, I don't get to see them enough. It's always really fun when they come around. So I'm glad they could finally make it out to my place for once and check out my tank. So be sure to go check out their videos to see uh, whatever it is they were able to make. And I hope you enjoy that. But I thought we would do some more feeding. We'd feed some more snails to the tank as well as maybe some blood worms because that's also really fun to watch. I was looking at the footage of what we had shot and it, it wasn't the best. It was kind of tough like being in this space with so many people with cameras. I don't think any of us got really like what we wanted to get from that. So we'll, uh, we'll finish it up with some more feeding and I hope you guys enjoy. And then we'll talk about the tank a little bit too. Okay guys, here's another handful of assorted snails going in the tank. Real quick first though, there's the graveyard from the previous feeding. A lot of big, there was a couple big snails in there. You can see I did a little vacuuming before I shot this video, so got a bunch of the tiny ones out of there. Let's see how these guys react to this bunch. They just swarm on it immediately. So fun to watch these fish. I mean, literally like a pack of wolves. They make super quick work of those snails, so let's go ahead and let's feed them some blood worms. So here I just have a couple of pre-broken off cubes that I keep in a separate bag away from the, you know, the giant sheet of blood worms that's in my freezer, so that way I can just pull one out and feed them. And we're gonna give them an extra big chunk today. We'll see how much they eat off of this, and then usually if they get disinterested, I take the remaining out and I go throw it into uh, the tetra tank behind me, the jungle aquarium. Let's watch these guys chow down. Well, 
lot of the bloodworms ended up here in the roots of the dwarf water lettuce and they are not spending too much time with the main chunk anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this out. Hopefully in one piece. And then we'll take it over here. Give it to these guys. What were we calling this tank again? The Jurassic tank? I mean, it's always kind of just been the, the pufferfish tank, right? I think the last time you guys saw this, actually, I don't, I don't even know when the last time I gave like a proper update on this tank was, but I know it's been a while. So not that much has changed. Okay, we still have the general scape that we have here that we redid from the original scape, which this is pretty much all Dragonstone. If you guys are not familiar with this tank at all, it's pretty much all the hardscape is Dragonstone and some spider wood down here to make this kind of cave. Sorry about the glare there. Got a bunch of tanks behind me, but it's it stayed the same. The only difference though is that there used to be a bridge that connected these and I ended up taking that out. And so now we have kind of two separate structures, I guess. And there's just a whole bunch of Anubius Nana Narrow Leaf all around it. Okay, and that's pretty much it. There is a little bit of moss in here. This peak that sticks out of the top has some, I believe it's Christmas moss on here and a little bit of it goes down into the water. There are a couple Anubius Nana Petites in here, but not a ton. Uh, I did add in floating plants though. So here's a bunch of the dwarf water lettuce from over in the desert tank and of course out in the pond. I just, I don't know. I thought it would be kind of a good tank for this because it's so tall. This is, I think it's two feet tall so there's a lot of room for the roots of these plants to grow down and then we also have this really cool plant right here which in Corey's video we talked about this a lot um, but this is a Laguigia species actually and it's it's pretty interesting so you'll have to go check out his video if you want to know more about that at this point I mean down the line we'll talk about it we'll see if I can grow it good first I don't want to be talking about the plant when I don't really have any experience with it but it's a very interesting floating plant, but it's also a stem plant. It's kind of weird. I run two AquaClear HOBs on this tank to give it enough flow, even though I still don't think it has as much flow as it could or maybe even should have. Uh, a lot of debris ends up settling on these leaves, and so whenever I do a water change, I have to come in here and really brush things off and create a lot of water movement because there's a lot of detritus stuck in the back of the tank. I need to kick that up. And of course, the substrate gets littered with snail shells and, and debris as well, leftover blood worms, things like that. So there is a considerable amount of waste produced in this tank, but I feel like filtration wise, we're totally fine. And we're of course running the Kessel A80 up here. It's been a pretty good light for me. I think, I mean, it's not the strongest thing ever, but we don't really need something super strong in here again because we have these low light plants in here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the Jurassic puffer fish tank in a nutshell. It's just kind of chilling, very low maintenance. I do a water change on it once every couple of weeks. It's all that's required really on this thing. And we just sit back and enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the puffer fish eat as well as, well, I guess you got to see the Tetras eat too, but hey, make sure that you subscribe or at least go and check out those guys' videos. Again, links will be down in the description for Corey and Joel's channel. It's always appreciated. Until next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. We will see you next time.